Hello, welcome to MW CNC Designs. My name is Mason, and today I will be testing the new Shaper Trace, where you can take a drawing or a sketch and turn it into an SVG with just a photo. Let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing I notice is just how well this has been packaged. It's very minimalistic, and you honestly don't even need the instructions. There's a QR code on the back of the tracer. Using the camera on your phone, it'll ask you to register, and once you're registered, you're ready to go. You get one tracing pin in the box. I ended up ordering a couple more, just so I have some spares. And then lastly, it's just the tracer itself. I decided to use some of my snap-on angle wrenches as a test. Here's a three-quarter inch wrench, and every brand's gonna be different size. That's gonna be the perk of the Shaper Tracer, being able to just trace an object or an image and it's going to give you accurate measurements and turn it into an SVG. Next step is just using your camera and the QR code it opens up a link and you just need to allow access. It's very simple you just have to place your camera on your phone so that you can see the whole border of the tracer and it'll pull in an SVG and then you can select where you want to save it I decided to save it to my shaper file so I can pull it up on any device. And once you name it, all you got to do is hit save, and that is it. Tracing the wrench with a pin, I ended up having a few extra lines that I made or where I didn't get the trace perfect. And I noticed it once I drug it into Carbite Create. So I'm just going to zoom in and just see exactly where the errors are so we can smooth out this SVG and have a nice cut profile. Now it's time to just clean up the outer perimeter of this wrench. I either delete the nodes that don't need to be there or smooth out the ones that are jagged. And I'm just going to do this around the whole outer perimeter of the wrench and then at the very end I'll run a .05 offset to the outside and that'll be the final SVG line that I'll actually use for a cutting profile. So the final step is to make a tool path so we can run a simulation. And I'm just going to select a pocket tool path using a 1 8 compression bit. When it comes time to actually cut it out on the CNC, I'll get all the angle wrenches together just so I'm not wasting material. But as you can see in the simulation, the wrench looks smooth and there's no jagged edges. Last, I'd like to just add a quick little relief so that the wrench can be uh, removed easily. So final thoughts. I believe this is a great tool. I've got to get some more experience using it. Um, but I believe that this is going to help speed up the process of SVGs and the frustrations that I've ran into. Being able to just trace an object or a logo is going to be huge. <laughs>